Well, hello, IDS 105 students, and welcome to week five here in the IDS 105 learning community. Today, we are going to talk through your assignments that are due for module five, in addition to just touching on the concepts this week, which is all about working through conflict. First and foremost, your experience here at Southern New Hampshire University is important to us. It is our policy and practice to create an inclusive and accessible learning environment. If there are aspects of instruction in or course design that present barriers to accessibility, please notify the Online Accessibility Center, the OAC, as soon as possible at 866-305-9430. You can also email them at oac at snhu.edu or visit the Online Accessibility Center website. A couple of webinar reminders. This is an academic space, so always be mindful of your conduct. And as a reminder, these webinars are not required. They're not graded, but you will learn about how to do your assignments from week to week. And we go over the concepts that you are covering in your IDS 105 course. As always, when you are working your way through your academic terms here at SNHU, you want to make sure that you are reading those course announcements because your instructors post helpful tips, tricks, reminders, and more regarding the assignments that week, and plus making sure that you are able to understand the concepts and terminology that you're covering from week to week. So make sure that you are reading those course announcements. Don't forget to check your SNHU University email. That is how the university communicates with you. And if your instructor is looking from, for anything from you or has questions for you, that's how they'll communicate with you. If you're stuck, if you have questions, if you've fallen behind on something or you didn't do so great on an assignment and you want a chance to redo it, y'all, this is the time, okay? We are past the halfway point, so it is so important if you're stuck, you have questions or something's come up, something has changed, get with your faculty member as soon as possible. You can always email them, you can call them. They have their contact information listed under the My Instructor Announcement in your classroom. We want you to be successful, so please do not hesitate. Whoa, folks, we are like literally now officially into the last half of your IDS 105 term. So like I mentioned, it's so important if you have fallen behind, if you struggled on any assignments, if you're stuck or not sure on something, this is the time to reach out to your instructors and get back on track. You know, catch back up if you've fallen behind, make sure that's okay. Reach out to your instructors if you struggled on an assignment, see if you could resubmit something, um, especially if it's anything to do with the project, this final project because it is such a significant chunk of your grade. So this week, week five, module five, you have two assignments. We are submitting our final project draft assignment this week, and then you have a discussion assignment. Couple of reminders, you wanna have that Microsoft Word or PDF or something compatible for that project draft. Remember there's a template for the project draft that you should have been using all term long, um, where you just open it right up and you can type right in it. If you got creative, kind of created your own document, that's fine. Just make sure that all pieces and parts of the template, all the questions and each section are on your drafts as you turn them in and then prepare yourself when you get ready to submit in module seven, everything needs to be on one document, okay? As a reminder, video note submissions are not permitted for project drafts. It has to be a submitted written document. If for some reason you don't have Microsoft Word or something compatible, you do get Office 365 for free as an SNA2 student. Make sure you're paying attention to which questions again you're answering for the project draft. This is our last one and it's going to kind of wrap up your project and then you will just be working on editing or revising for you to submit in your submit that final project in module seven. And we have a whole webinar all dedicated to it. So for this week, you're just focusing in on that last section of the project draft. You also have a discussion assignment. As a reminder, the initial discussion post is due on Thursday with responding to at least two of your classmates by Sunday, and then your project draft is due by Sunday. As always, you can always work ahead earlier in the week as convenient for your schedule, but definitely make sure that you're paying attention to those deadlines. So this week we are centering in on your project draft assignment on the topic of conflict. Plus within your module reading and your assigned reading, you're going to learn a lot more about conflict. And often we tend to see conflict as a negative, right? When you hear the word conflict, what is the first emotion that you have? Oh, that's mine. <laughs> oh, I don't like conflict. You know, that's just my personality. But take a minute and think about it. When you hear conflict, or if you're involved in a situation where there's conflict, what is your like gut reaction? How do you usually feel about it? Typically, most people have kind of a negative association with conflict, right? 
However, you know, when we think about conflict, um, you know, we might experience it because of different reasons. Maybe there's a difference of opinion. Maybe there's a miscommunication somewhere. Maybe there's a difference in values with the people that are in the situation. Maybe there's a lack of trust. Sometimes we don't take a minute and slow down and think about like why we are even experiencing conflict or those uneasy feelings or whatever it might be. Sometimes we just like die right in because we're upset and our emotions get the best of us, right? And often for many people, they tend to avoid conflict. So I want you next time you're maybe in a situation or as you work through your scenarios this week and the questions that center around the conflicts in your scenarios, you know, really think about like why the conflict is happening and see if it falls in line with maybe a difference of opinion, a miscommunication, a difference in values or a lack of trust. The other thing I want you to think about is sometimes conflict can actually be a good thing. Sometimes we need conflict to happen so that we could see the perspective of others. Sometimes conflict is the way that we can feel seen or others can feel seen or feel heard. It allows us to have those expressions of feelings and emotions. We can learn a lot about each other. And sometimes conflict can help us solve issues or problems because we're able to kind of see the full circle moment on how everybody feels, why they feel that way, understand maybe what really happened. So it's really important that you don't just think of conflict as like an argument or a fight, okay? There's a lot more that goes into it. And especially as you navigate this week's um, project draft and your discussion assignment, you're gonna be thinking more about it. So speaking of the discussion assignment, this week, as a reminder, you have a discussion assignment, initial post due by Thursday, responding to at least two of your classmates by Sunday or earlier as your schedule allows. This week, you are going to be answering the following questions. Number one, what is one example of a conflict situation that you have seen in films, television shows, or books? Okay. Question two, how could you apply restorative practices in the situation that you described above? And question three, how could being vulnerable, having an open mind, and considering others help with navigating the conflict identified in the situation that you shared above in question one? As a reminder, as you work through this week's module, make sure you are reading the content within the module, but also make sure that you are reviewing any of your required resources. I also mentioned you're going to be submitting that final project draft. This week, you are going to be centering in on the scenario that you chose. So if you remember when you picked your scenario, either school, personal, or workplace, when you picked that, there was kind of that general overview of this scenario. But if you look on the scenario profiles, there is actually some conflicts that are listed underneath each scenario. So what you're doing this week is you're gonna stick with your scenario. So if you picked, for example, the school scenario, you are sticking with that. But what you're going to do this week in module five is you're gonna to wanna to look at the conflicts that were listed. So for example, under the school scenario, there's conflict one is a disagreement over feedback or grade from an instructor. Conflict two, feeling excluded from a group, and conflict three is determining priorities. So you want to pick one of those in addition to your um, scenario overview, and that is how you want to answer the questions here for module five. As a reminder, if you need a deep dive, more information about those scenarios and the conflicts, click underneath supporting materials on scenario profiles. The questions that you are answering this week are underneath part three of your project draft template. So question one, is to describe the components of the conflict represented in the scenario. So for example, if you chose that school scenario as an example, let's say that you picked the conflict as like a disagreement with your faculty member about feedback or a grade. So what you wanna do for question one, if, you're, if that is your scenario as an example, is you want to explain and point out the components of conflict that are represented in that scenario that you picked. Make sure you give details, make sure you give examples, those are always the most helpful ways to make sure that you connect the concepts with your thoughts. Question two is to describe different interpersonal communication strategies that can be used in conflict resolution. So think about your scenario and the conflict that you picked and what are some different interpersonal communication strategies that you could use to help resolve what's going on in this situation. Question three, choose an appropriate communication strategy that you would employ in this scenario. Include an explanation of why you chose that communication strategy. Question four, describe the potential challenges of communication in the scenario. Question five, describe the benefits and challenges of using restorative practices to navigate the conflict in the scenario. So again, you are using the scenario you've used all term long, 
but you are just going to narrow in on one of those conflicts underneath it to help you answer the questions here for module five. As always, if you're stuck, if you have questions, utilize your resources. Your instructors want to hear from you. We want to help you. If you have not yet utilized the academic support team to help you with your writing assignments, the written feedback service is such a wonderful service that students really enjoy using. And it helps you feel a lot more confident about submitting um, any of your written assignments, your discussion boards, project drafts, journals, all kinds of things like that. Don't forget you have help outside the classroom too, but none of it matters if you are not reaching out and making those connections to support your success, right? So let me just run you through the classroom here real quick for module five. As a reminder, up at the top underneath um, course menu, click on learning modules. When you do that, you want to go down to module five. That is where we are this week. Um, as always, click on the actual introduction, click the blue, get to where you want to go and make sure that you're reviewing the actual content and reading within the module. Because as you all know, by this point, a lot of the concepts and terminology that you are talking about in your assignments come from the reading that's actually within your module. So remember one of the questions in the discussion board was about restorative practices. That content is right here within the module. So make sure that you are reviewing the content that is within the module in addition to um, any of the required resources that you need to read or watch or listen to. OK, and then as a reminder too, for your if you are stuck or have questions or you're not sure on your writing mechanics or just looking over your written assignments, click on academic support. The menu of services pops up. Um, the written feedback tool is what a lot of students like. They like to up. You can upload and submit your drafts and assignments for written feedback. You're going to have a little questionnaire to help you select the most important areas for your tutor to focus on, and then you'll get feedback within 12 hours. So I wanted to make sure that I pointed that out to you. Um, if you have questions, if you're stuck, just a reminder to always make sure that you're reaching out to your resources, your instructor um, and or your advisor or the departments here at the university. So you have your discussion assignment and then, of course, um, you also have that project draft assignment. When you open that up, make sure that you review the overview and the directions. Again, there's the project template in case you need it again. Underneath supporting materials is those scenario profiles. So when you click on that, it opens up. Remember kind of all the details about each scenario and then you have these conflicts listed. You're only picking one. You do not have to look at all three of them and answer your scenario based of all three of them. You're just honing in on one. OK, if you have questions, reach out. Have an amazing week five and I'll see you next week in week six.